Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a crescendo. A crescendo is basically an unavoidable hood attack, such as the one on No Mercy where you click the generator and the, the door goes up. Um, so, all you need to do is create a funk and scroll button, go to your outputs, click add, on pressed, because you're pressing the button, target entity named director, which is what we've named our director, which is located by here. If you haven't created one of these, do so now. Just click the enter tool, place an influence code director into your map, and name it whatever you want. I've named it director. Let me go back to my button. So, unpressed director via this input panic event, and fire once only. Click apply. So, what I've done for this button, when I click it, this train will move to here and you'll be able to jump on it but the panic event will attract the hood so now if I wanted this prop and score dynamic to glow which is what I've used all I have to do is name this go to my funk and score button and go down to the option glow entity and name this the prop okay so that's basically it there are more advanced ways of doing it as like adding a game event and some filters into it but this is the simple and easy way so if I show you in game so now we're in game I've already created my nav as you can see so let me just quickly kill these zombies right so basically I'm expecting they're going to run down this tunnel. So as you can see, my entity is glowed. I've got a green one now because I've changed my little exec config. So I click it, the train should move, and a panic event happens. As you can see, the zombies are just running down the here. Yeah, so that basically concludes this tutorial. Hope it's helped in all ways, and good luck with your mapping.